and colour into your backyard. But my next guest continues to dominate the pop world after more than 50 years in the business. <laughs> Always a pleasure to have him on the show. Please welcome Sir Cliff Richard. Thank you. Thank you. We, um, we went out and we managed to find a couple of fans. I was, <laughs> I was going to say, where did you get them from? Because <laughs> I need them on tour. The, uh, they're coming down. <laughs> They're probably booked already. You, know. <laughs> well, you never know. This new album, so licious. Yeah. There's a connection which is really weird with Cash in the Attic. Do you know this, Gloria Honeyford? No one can find that in the attic yet. Really? Are they... Most Gloria of my Honeyford... other albums are in people's attics. People's... Yes. Well, Gloria Honeyford was doing Cash in the Attic with David Guest, celebrity Cash in the Attic, um, and David Guest was talking about. She said, "You should talk about my talk to my friend Cliff." about doing an album, because David produced so David issues. was the one that coordinated the whole thing. Yeah. And I got, in fact, it must have been at the same time, because Gloria rang me at home, and she said, <laughs> I've got someone here that wants to talk to you, and it was David Guest. Now, we'd met a couple of times, but not really. And then he had this idea and said, I can get these people, you know, the Temptations, the New Stylistics, Candy Staten, Roberta Flack, people... And I said to him, stop. If you can do it, I'll have died and gone to heaven. <laughs> and, uh, and he did. Well, I'm not dead, but I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. I was so, so thrilled. Soul from Cliff, you know, is it, was it always a passion? Well, so this, you know, soul is not such an alien art form to people like myself because when we kicked off... Remember, I started five years before the Beatles, and so even the Beatles, they were the same age as us, but we just happened to get going first. But all of us would have been listening to soul music, blues music from the States, doo-wop music, all the pop stuff that came. We cut our teeth on that stuff, so... It wasn't as alien as people thought it might be for me, but it was a challenge. It strikes me as being cracking good fun when you're duetting with the likes of Percy Sledge. Oh. And, you know, I mean, to, to do duets, it, the, the chemistry between you when you're doing all these, was that half the fun? Yes, it was. And, of course, I'm sure you probably know, and if you don't, I'll tell you now, generally speaking, when you hear duets, we don't actually sing together mm. because it's so... It's so specific that the producer would need to hear... If we're doing a duets album, you and I, mm. the, du the producer would need to hear me and he would definitely need to listen to you. I just... <laughs> I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's difficult for a producer to try and get us both correct and we all want to be perfect as we can be. Yeah. So I always did my, my bit first and then the artist would come in and this is what I loved. We'd rehearse it live together. Wow. So when Frida came in or whoever, we'd, we'd, we'd stand and sing it together and, and I'd say, well, I'm doing that bit and then you're going to be doing this bit and then we'd sing it through. So I did actually get to sing live oh, with them. And some of them are coming on my tour. Yeah, yeah. But that would be great. So people are going to get to hear this on tour as well as on the disc. Yeah, oh, yeah. The I disc is I... out. I'm just checking the, the date. 10th of October. 10th of October. 10th of October, yeah. 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 So it's, it's not that far away now and uh, I couldn't, you know... I'm not, I've not got all the artists to take us a week to do the concert, but uh, so I've got some of them, you know. I always do some... Well, you know, if you've been to any, anybody's concert, if they've got a new album, there's usually four or five tracks they sing. I'm going to do eight. Mm. I was going to do six, and then I kept liking two more. I thought, oh, <laughs> I'll just do these last two. But it gives me an opportunity not only to introduce Frida Payne and Percy Sledge and... Fifth Dimension, do you remember Aquarius and yeah. Let the Sun Shine? Yeah, They're with me as well. Yeah. So, um, and Lamont Dozier, who produced it, is going to sing something. He wrote, I mean, you can't... He wrote with Holland, Dozier and Holland. He's the Dozier. He wrote 54 number one records. Good heavens. Stop in the name of love, how sweet it is. Can you imagine? I know him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sitting with a CD, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know the 
relentlessly call you the Peter Pan of pop, but you bring it on yourself in a way, Cliff, in that there's always a new, a new excitement. Is, that presumably is what keeps you going, is yeah. the, the will to want to carry on and do something new. Yeah, I mean, it's a, there's an interesting factor, though, that uh, I learned a long time ago that really you can, you can introduce new stuff to your fans, but you can only do it if you're doing plenty of the old. Mm. Because, you know, for... for well, yeah. <laughs> it's, we've become part of people's memories. I mean, I think I've told this story before. I've watched people uh, sitting on the front row, and when I start Living Doll, the, the bloke <laughs> would go like that. Yeah. And I'm thinking now, um, was, that his, was she his Living Doll, or was their first <laughs> child there? That, yeah. that was the Living Doll? You know, and actually, it... Hank said to me, he was going... He, he said the bloke's probably going, what a lot of crap this is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you do sometimes when you go to see a big star who you know for a long time and who's worked the only way. You feel a bit short-changed, don't you, when they say, oh, I don't do any of that anymore. You oh. Say, oh, what a shame. So it's nice that you do. It's a dangerous area because if you don't do some of the old stuff, they're not as accepting of what you do that's new. Whereas mm. if you can... I mean, yes, there will be a few new songs. Of course there will. But in between, I'm going to try and say, in fact, I'll say it now, I'm going to say that Solicious is where I am at the moment. I'm excited about doing something different with a fantastic bunch of gifted people, but I can never forget what, how I got here. How can I not sing Summer Holiday or On the Beach or Living Doll? I'm doing well, I'm nearly famous. I, I could easily fall in the country. We don't talk anymore. Li dreaming, Little in Love, Devil Woman, Carrie. Hang on, hang on, the world. <laughs> Talking of which, I... <laughs> Am I right in, in, in the information I got was that you sang congratulations at Queen Margareta's uh, 70th birthday party. I did. I thought it was one of the sweetest invitations I ever had. I was in Barbados when my office rang me and said, the Queen has asked if you will sing. She's requested that you sing it at her 70th birthday. I said, well, where is she holding it? Is it in Barbados? And they said, no, it's in Denmark. I went, oh. <laughs> it was such a nice invitation. I said, I, I have to go. And I was so thrilled. I was the only foreign person, foreign artist that was invited mm -hmm. to that particular party. And I was thrilled. I went there saying congratulations and she was bopping along <laughs> like this. <laughs> it was really nice. She'd probably been at Wimbledon that year when you were there. <laughs> that year. You, you still sure. go back. To Wimbledon? You, yes. Oh, yeah, I go we'll never year. hear that again because they've got a roof on it now. It's very sad. I know. Well, it's, well, it's not sad. No, it's but sad I mean, that you won't be singing there. Oh, <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, you know, the press gave us a wonderful time when, when it happened because it was such an off-the-cuff thing. Yeah. You could never plan anything no. like that. And then it, uh, as the years have gone by, they've made jokes about saying, oh, my God, if it rains, Cliff Richards going <laughs> to sing again. <laughs> and I caught a couple of them and they said that to me like in a joke, nudging me. And I said, yeah, look, just remember this. In the whole history of Wimbledon, only one person has ever sung there on Centre Court, and it was me. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm thrilled. Well, look, you <laughs> So Cliff will be performing his new single, a duet with the soul sensation Frida Payne at the end of the show. But for now, my thanks to the wonderful Sir Cliff Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.